YouTube. How are you? Hope you're having a great morning this morning. I've been up since six, got some stuff done, did my dishes, fed both my cats, because as you know, I've got two cats. There's the inside cat, Booger. There's the outside cat, Blackie. I actually just spent some time with her outside because she likes to treat me like a cat couch. <laughs> so the moment I sat down, she was on my lap and just sunning herself and enjoying herself with me. So I just wanted to relax a little bit before I got into reactions this morning. And the reaction that I'm doing this morning, it's going to be quite the doozy. So I did a previous reaction before to Lisa Richards, and she is a lot. As you guys know, I've been researching the TikTok beggar cows, and there are many of them. But the one name that I keep seeing the most of, the one that's the most talked about is indeed Lisa Richards, because on TikTok, she absolutely does the most. And in this video that I'm going to show you, courtesy of the channel, Kai Fots, she's got it turned up to 15. She has an entire meltdown. And this meltdown caused her to get banned. Uh, for those of you that you don't want to see something very intense this morning, or maybe if you don't like Lisa, if you don't want to watch this video, I totally get it. She's not for everybody. Some people do like the content, though. But if you don't like Lisa, it's fine. I'm going to be covering a whole lot of new faces here. Just watch what you want to watch. I have no problem with that. You know, Variety is a spice of life, but some spice is for some, but not for others. To buffer the intensity of Lisa, I want to go to Twitter first and show some Twitter stuff, some good stuff, some warm stuff, some funny stuff, animal stuff, and also do some catch up on Foodie Beauty. You know, we'll get into that first as kind of a buffer for Lisa. Yeah, it's it's that bad. The Meltdown is that bad. <laughs> Trying to buffer Lisa. <laughs> so she's not too intense for y'all. Like it's not, her intensity is not hitting you in the face. So we'll go to Twitter first and, you know, kind of warm up a little bit, give you something to smile about before we get into the absolute meltdown that Lisa is having over, of all things, a pack of cigarettes. It's over a pack of cigarettes. I'm a smoker. I smoke cigarettes and I've never had a meltdown over not having a pack of cigarettes, but she is just losing her mind. Something to keep in mind when it comes to Lisa Richards she has said to make more money, to get more attention, she will purposely turn it up to 15 on purpose. So the meltdown, you might be watching it. Most of it might be fake. As a matter of fact, I do believe it to be fake because while she's having this meltdown, no tears. And she'll stop periodically during this meltdown. She'll calm down enough to give out her cash app. Like she repeatedly gives out her cash app. So she turns it up to 15 and she'll calm down just enough in her voice to clearly give out her cash app. There's no tears, no runny nose, no stopped up nose. So it's, it's pretty much a dramatic performance. I don't know why TikTok allows such behavior on their platform. It's certainly not a good look to have so many people going on and begging and stressing everybody else out. Uh, I think they should make a rule banning people from begging. And that would certainly help the platform and discourage a lot of beggars. But I guess TikTok, they're getting their money on the back end. You know, if people buy the roses and the gifts, they get a little bit of money out of that. So as long as they make their cut, they'll let the beggars do what they do. So let's get into all the Twitter stuff as a buffer for Lisa. And also to give you something to smile about today. And again, if Lisa is not your cup of tea, oh, did I go to the wrong thing? I am so sorry. My, my apologies. I meant we're going to go to Twitter. Okay. We're going to Twitter first. 
as a buffer for Lisa. Because this one's bad. As far as intensity, this one is indeed bad. But it got her banned. So good news. She did the most, but TikTok did the most and banned her. I don't know if it's a permanent ban. I don't know if it's a semi-permanent ban. But she got in serious trouble for it. So, you know, TikTok swatted you on the bottom, Lisa. They did. As well they should. Coming on TikTok, acting the way you do. All right. So, there we are on my Twitter. So, let's start here with some... Uh, this We're going to do some foodie beauty tidbits, some cool stuff with animals and stuff to make you smile. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So Yup Yup says, seems foodie beauty and scat man can live together as unmarried couple. So long as they're discreet and keep their superintendent happy. Foodie once mentioned giving the building manager money for washing their car. I wonder if it's for anything else. Well, money talks. And some people, I guess, they'll look the other way as long as they're getting paid. So this person, Harry, says, it's illegal if you go around advertising it. Stay quiet about it. Keep the building watchman, Harris, happy. Then no one cares. Yeah, well, in, in some areas, money talks and BS walks. So as long as there's a little bit extra going on the back end, maybe, maybe, I'm not saying for sure, maybe the manager is saying, I won't tell if you won't tell. As long as you keep giving me a paycheck, I won't tell at all. Okay, so. Is this what I'm looking for? I'm so sorry. Okay, so this was the comment that I was looking for. I'm so sorry about that. I wasn't on my feed. Uh, a chick and a duck. Says, great comment by a nurse on Foodie's new health problem video. She may believe the kidney infection is not obesity related, but it most likely is. So let Kelly out and about. Says, polydipsia, polyphagia, polyuria. The three classic signs of uncontrolled diabetes. You have all three, plus the continual fatigue. Please. The only way you will ever feel better is to get your blood sugars within a normal range. Shoot for a blood glucose less than 180. I'm a nurse of 31 years. I sincerely hope you begin to address your health more deliberately. Very, very happy you're getting into the pool for many reasons. Take care of yourself. No one else will. This goes for everyone. So like the nurse is saying this, these are some classic symptoms of uncontrolled diabetes. Will foodie care? No. She's got a health, host of health problems. Has she cared about any of them so far? Nope. Booger, come here. Digging at the cabinets again. <laughs> That's my cat. Okay, so tweets of cats. You know what? I've seen so many different clips of Capybara. Is it Capybara or Capybara? Capybaras, they get along with all animals because they're so incredibly chill copybaras they are the zen animals so copybara snuggling with a cat basically copybaras are basically just big old rodents they don't care <laughs> you can just roll on everything the cat's like i want to play i want to play the, the copybara is like i don't care do what you want to me as long as i get to lay her on the blanket i really don't care now, this is cool from the best. <laughs> a dog's like, no, 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 not my, my birthday cake. You go away. <laughs> you, 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 you don't take cake from me. Who do you think you are? I get the first bite. That's funny. A dog's like, no, no. No, a strange stuffed animal. No, you will not take my cake. And nature is amazing. He knows he's a gorgeous boy. Yes, he does. What a beautiful stallion. You know he's king of the herd. If he had a herd of mares, he, he would be the stud. All the mares would be chasing him. What a beautiful, beautiful horse. 
Uh, Litten Nephilim says, how the F am I still hidden? Her amazing trolling is what I strive for. Kristen says, OMG, y'all. I've never been unblocked, no matter how many times Fatty McFatterson swears she unblocked everyone. But I just went to see if maybe by some miracle this time, pretty sure it was short-lived, but I tried to make it count. So Kristen says, am I, am I unblocked? <laughs> Great trolling, Kristen. Uh, why you should have a cat? Payment from my studio. So there's a barn cat being loved on by the cows. Oh, the cows love the baby. Cows are basically just big puppies themselves that give milk. <laughs> I've seen so many videos of cows acting like dogs. You know, like they'll they'll chase after balls and they follow you. Cows are so chill. They can do more than just give us milk. Yeah, they're, they're such chill, peaceful animals. And cats that heal your depression. Find someone who supports you like this cat supports his owner's music. So I'm actually subscribed to this channel. And the name of the channel is in the top right. Sarper Duman. And he's a lovely human being. This man, he's a piano teacher. He teaches piano during the day. He's taken in many disabled and stray cats. He cares for them all lovingly. And he's got many videos where he's playing music and the cats just sit there and love all over him while he's playing the piano. He's got very lovely content. For anybody looking for lovely content on YouTube, I do recommend this channel, Sarper Duman. Again, look in the top right for the name because you'll find all kinds of videos like what you're seeing right now. Just kind of loving on him. All right, cats that heal your depression. Sometimes you don't choose your cat, they choose you. Yeah, the cat distribution system at work right here. So I'm telling you, with with cats, it, it, it just don't fight it. You've been chosen. They chose you. It's it, it's a done deal. Booger. You know, that's what happened with both the cats that I now take care of. Booger, she came to me through the cat distribution system. I had just lost a cat that I'd had for 12 years, Snowball. And she passed away. Very sad about that. <laughs> then I had a neighbor that lived directly downstairs from me that knew that I was a cat mama and lost my cat. They actually brought Booger to my front door. Uh, they had three cats. They found Booger. Wandering by herself late at night, they brought her home, they took care of her, but unfortunately, they were already at their pet limit, and they had to move. So they brought her to my front door, knocked on the door, and said, would you like a kitten? <laughs> How could I say no to Booger? Hey, come here. So the cat distribution system worked with me with Booger, and now I also have Blackie. So if you get chosen, you get chosen. Don't don't fight it. it it's it, there's a reason why this animal is coming to you. It could be because they are in need of you. It could be because you're in need of them. It could be because you're going to help each other, love each other. It's meant to be. Just just don't fight the cat distribution system. It's a special thing when an animal chooses you because they trust you. They want to love on you. And you'll benefit from loving on them too. So I love this. I like it. Uh, small silly cat. Bro fell asleep mid-sentence. Oh, look at the sleepy baby. <laughs> Just taking a nap mid-sentence. Like, I don't know what I was saying, but it really wasn't that important. I'm taking a nap now. Yup, yup says, brilliant. Where can I buy it? One salty beaches. I won't lie. I absolutely love this one. I'll be procuring a hoodie. I love this. So anybody who's seen the movie, A Christmas Story, then you remember the part of the movie where the dad had this really sexy leg lamp. This is like the foodie version. <laughs> I love the sarcasm in girl world. Fondue Pondu says, just so it's known and noted, Chantal's tell 
when she is using Salah's account to type responses, comments, or under sock accounts, always adds two to one or two emojis after every message. Huh. I didn't realize that, but duly noted and thank you for letting us know. Uh, Litten Nephalium says, so is it a coincidence that Foodie Beauty is hotter than 90% of YouTube? Chantal is a sociopath. Psychology Today says their behavior, the 90% rule. A surprisingly simple way to spot a sociopath is to stay focused on their behavior and ignore their words. Spe pay special attention to any extreme behavior, things they do that 90% of people would not. Ask yourself, would I ever do that? Extreme behavior is common for sociopaths, but they quickly cover it up with excuses. I was tired. I was under a lot of stress. He or she made me do it. I had to do it given what the other person did. It almost doesn't matter what the behavior was. Their excuses are often the same. They are always blameless and rarely apologize unless they are caught and it will make them look good. Well, I'm not here to diagnose Chantal, not a doctor. I, I can't make any diagnoses on her, but I think she does have a lot of issues but it's up to her to fix them. You know, like she really needs to be, you know, under treatment of some sort. Uh, Yup Yup says, what say you, foodie? Did you buy all those feminine products in Canada because you had a UTI? So this is, my cat is just going wild. Come here, baby. Her in the cabinets. This, this picture is from, it looks like it's from the Kiwi Farms. So this person on Kiwi Farms, Posh Bimbo, says, is this why she bought all of those coochie cleaners a few weeks back in Canada? Could be. It could be that she had a UTI back in Canada. Uh, if she did have a UTI or bladder infection back in Canada, uh, one thing I know about bladder or kidney infections, if you get medication, you don't take it all, it can not come back. Or if you eat something, drink something that can aggravate the problem, it'll flare up again, like sugar, like caffeine. Uh, the kidneys really hate those things. Booger. Honey, <laughs> my cat wants to get in the cabinet. What are you doing? Come here. You little brat. Come here. She just wants to play. Come here. Cats. They're like eternal three-year-olds. Never grow up. Uh, but do I think maybe there was some stuff going on in Canada? Possibly. Chantal, she's not about that life of taking her medication. I mean, she had other medication for an STD. She didn't finish the whole doggone thing. I don't know why she doesn't finish her medication. It's like she likes to stay sick. But that could very well be. So is this something that's been ongoing since uh, going to Canada? There's a high possibility of that. Now, this is wild. Here's something positive for you guys. Historic Fits Frameless Art Museum in London, where art truly comes to life. Can you imagine going to an art museum? And, and this is the art exhibit. It's just, it's so virtual and so real. It feels like you're in the middle of the ocean. Wow. I would love to go see that. Look, I'm an old fart. I love art museums. I love art displays. I love beautiful art, all kinds of art. It doesn't have to be classic art. I, I love seeing the way people express themselves to see the different ideas and creativity at work. So I think this is amazing. Yeah. Two tail caperer, truly unfiltered. Yeah. For those beezers, you want to see what your queen really looks like. This is Chantal. Okay, this was her back at the villa uh, before the hijab, before the abaya. This is what she looked like. And this was Chantal before she went to Kuwait and gained even more weight. This is her booger. <laughs> Jeez. This is her without the big eye filter, without the contour filters, without the, uh, uh, the crazy filters. Booger. Come here. What are you doing? Uh, sorry about that. 
This was more of her natural face. And this was her like 150 pounds ago. She's gained more weight since then. But Chantal uses that. An eye filter, big eye filter, uh, skin smoothing filter, every filter you can imagine she's got working for her. So she is beauty. She is grace. Yes, she is. And here you go from Yup Yup, the two-faced reality of foodie beauty. So here on the left is foodie's natural face. On the right is her filtered face. What a difference, eh? Do they look anything alike? No, not really. Looks like two totally different people. Okay, like, this is hilarious. I don't know if I should show it, though. <laughs> we, we need to laugh today. I th I'll show it later in a separate video to, to be funny. This is text put to music. Uh, view prawn bedroom goals. Oh, I want that bedroom in that location next to the ocean. It's giving me vaporwave vibes. It's giving me, it's giving me eighties neon sunsets, cool retro. I love it. I love the retro vibe of this. Uh, nature is amazing. If you ask She'll let you stay. My dogs brought home a new friend. So what is a new friend? So a couple of uh, dogs said, we got a new friend. And the new friend is Bambi. They brought Bambi home. I'd let the friend stay. I don't see any harm in that. And science girl, a path with rose walls. Can you imagine walking down this path? You feel like a Disney princess or a beautiful bride. Can you imagine the, the aroma of all those roses? Holy crap. Oh, to be around the, the, the natural perfume of nature and the birds. <laughs> Why you should have a cat? I've never seen a cat get road rage in my life. But let's listen to a cat get road rage. Yeah, I see. <laughs> so even a cat can get road rage the cat's like saying stupid dog <laughs> uh vegan says it is better than many tiktokers so this woman has this wonderful is it a ring neck parrot and the parrot loves the camera <laughs> <laughs> oh, the um, uh, the overload of cuteness. I can't. That is adorable. That is so adorable. Okay, I just, I wanted to expose you guys to, to some, some goodness before we get into Lisa. All right. And even if you are okay with Lisa's content, again, at any time, any content that I post, if it gets too much for you, just turn it off. It's okay. I'm not offended. I mean, some of these TikTokers, they're way too intense. They're way over the top and protect your own mental, emotional health. Okay. Always think of yourself first. So let's get into Lisa's content. And remember what I said, it's, she's turned up to 15. She's having, this isn't just like her going off. This is a melt down, meltdown, absolute meltdown. Let, let's let's stop for a minute and let's get into the comments. And this clip is courtesy of the channel Kai Thoughts. Uh, so Sue Hamlin says banned is a good idea. Yeah, I wonder if she's permanently banned. I hope they permanently ban her because she is abusing the platform for purposes not intended. All right, so Sue Hamlin says, band is a good idea. She needs to go to rehab, inpatient stay. I agree, not TikTok. I can't imagine why they allow people who only sit and beg in the first place. And she is very sick. Well, I think it's about money. TikTok must be making some money off of this to the point where they leave the beggars alone or else they ban them all or make a rule saying no 
begging aloud. So they're turning their face away a little bit. And so the beggars flourish. Uh, Christina says, so if people don't give you money, we don't care uh, about it's the opposite. Stop playing the victim. You'll be on again in an hour. So please get some help. Shame on the system for not intervening. Yeah. I mean, it's the same story with Chantal. YouTube has rules in place saying that she can't glorify uh, certain issues that she has. And yet they're not calling her on their bluff. They're not shutting Chantal down. Why? They could, but they're letting her do what she wants to do. And I guess TikTok is the same. You know, money talks. Money talks. Uh, Leanne says, is she serious? Claim to have a panic attack and break down over $10. Having a tantrum like a toddler because she's not getting her own way and expects when Lisa says jump, everyone needs to respond with how high. She knows full well that she's having to come on here every day and ask for money for a pack of cigarettes. Shows the doggone right audacity and respect. The holds for these people that enable her abhorrent behavior, as most people who are struggling financially would be careful how much they were smoking and make them last longer than a day. Sometimes it's twice a day. It's just disgusting. If the people who are enabling her and have a spare few dollars gave their money to food banks, they could be helping genuine vulnerable people, both adults and children who are struggling to afford food, necessary basic household items and hygiene products. Those people would be so grateful. Then there's Lisa. It's a please, please, please. Someone with a kind heart, please help. It's important. It's $10. $10, that's it. That's it, guys. Please, I'm begging. I need smokes, you guys. Wow. Just wow. I can't believe this. Treating me like this because I need help. Cut on someone, please, please, please. Just $10. Nobody sent anything. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm, I've got to scroll down. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No one cares. Come on, guys. It's $10. Just this need smokes. That's it, guys. That's it, please. I hear that whining, repetitive, entitled speech going around and around in my head. That and the PayPal, multiple cash app, and chime handles. I reckon I could recite that multiple different ones she's had over the last year. Yeah, and as I've mentioned, I, I've because I'm now covering the TikTok beggars, it seems like they've all got their own version of the same scam. They all claim that they only need a very small amount of money, but they get in front of an audience of hundreds of people and they're only saying a small amount because what they're hoping for by giving out their Venmo or Cash App or PayPal or Chime is that multiple people will send that small amount and that small amount gets multiplied. They don't come on and ask for, say, $200 or $400. It's, it's $10. Well, if 10 people send $10, that's $100. If 20 people send $10, that's $200. So that's why these beggars are coming on using this scam. Because it, by coming on and asking for a small amount, people are not going to put them on blast for, are you for real? You're asking for 200 bucks. All they're asking for is $10, but they're doing it in a very slimy kind of way. Uh, Billy says, sweating to the clothes she's been wearing for three days. Oh, my. Oh, my. The screaming that Abby's doing, it's hilarious because it's an act. I truly believe that. That's from CC and Dena Bear. Uh, Caddy says, you got to know she lost her crap as soon as she couldn't st stream. Yeah, I don't know if they banned her permanently or semi-permanently. I hope it's permanently. Because I, I, I've, been, I've been researching the TikTok cows and I'm telling you guys, like her name is everywhere. She is the worst. She is the most well-known on TikTok. Number one, by far, hands down. Like she wore the crown for, in the worst way. Uh, Yellow Submarine says, do not request, yet she requests all day long. Hannah says, every time I see her sobbing, there are no tears. It's all a shtick to get what she wants. Yeah, like she has said 
that she purposely plays things up for the camera to get what she wants. So the stress and the upset are fake and phony. You would think these TikTok cows would find a way to make themselves cry to make it more believable and sell to the audience, but they don't. They just, they're just that lazy and entitled. Uh, Kathy says, I block private numbers all the time, Lisa. That's mainly what my blocks are. Uh, Diana says, who cries hysterically over not having cigarettes? I don't. <laughs> I run out on occasion. I don't cry like this. It's not a big deal. It's it's not the end of the world. You run out, you run out. Oh, well, my problem, nobody else's problem. You either have them or you don't have them. As a matter of fact, because smokes are so expensive, I, I have my vape. You know, it, vapes are a bit cheaper and I'm trying to get away from smokes. But, <laughs> you know, you, you got to do what you got to do. And if you got to go without your nicotine, you got to go without your nicotine. Deal with it. You know, put on your big girl panties and deal with life. Let's see. Uh, from that to this, says she needs to be Baker acted. I think she needs professional help of some kind. I, I really do. Uh, Purple Ocean says, Lisa, if you're not at rock bottom right now, it's coming, girl. I hope she gets help before it's too late. So do I. Okay, so I, I love this comment from Cheryl saying, I am fully aware people in general want to be good individuals. However, helping or aiding or actually enabling someone like this is very, very toxic and quite frankly, dangerous. Unfortunately, there are people who get sucked into this madness. Yeah, like never reward bad behavior because then the bad behavior will continue. And whoever it is that needs help that should be seeking help will never get it. You know, sometimes you got to hit the wall. Sometimes you got to hit rock bottom to know that you've got to find the strength to get yourself back up and keep it moving. You can't rely on other people to hold you up forever. Uh, Dina says she goes from hysterical to being able to tell her cash app, right? She calms down enough just to give her cash app out. Uh, Angela says the other day when she was begging in front of the courthouse for cigarettes, Abby was standing there smoking right next to her. You could see the smoke above her head. So she got cigarettes just a few days ago. There's 20 something cigarettes in a pack. How is she going through 20 something cigarettes in three days? Girl, what are you doing? You're smoking entirely too much. Calm down. Lord. Okay, let's see if we got anything else here. All right. Okay, you know, that's enough of the comments. Let's get into the video. So for those of you that are still here, again, let me just toss this out there. Word of warning, she's turned up to 15 today. This is not just her going off. This is her having a meltdown, serious meltdown. I just want to warn y'all, it's bad. It is real bad. The begging is bad. The, the turned up to 15 is bad. Uh, at Again, this is courtesy of Kai Fotts. I'll leave a link for the original video in the video description for those who want to find Kai Fots. All right. 
Warning has been tossed out. Uh, let's go. He smokes me up. Oh, look, Julie Cook. She's freaking requesting all the time. She's re requesting. Why are you requesting? You're helping. You're supposed to be helping me. I need to go get smoked. And every time I get up to go, I think I have money. They do this. The CA is right See here. See how boom. She seems like, uh, oh. and then and then as soon as it comes to talking about the cash app, calm down. Instantly calm down. You fake, phony, lying scammer. If you're in a full state of distress, you can't calm down like that. And where are the tears? Don't see the tears. This is a awful, stressful performance. And TikTok is your stage. You are being an actress on TikTok in the worst way. You're putting on a toxic performance in front of people, scamming people out of their hard-earned money. When you can easily help yourself. Over what? A pack of cigarettes, girl. A pack of cigarettes. Okay? If you smoke cigarettes, yeah, you might get a little bit cranky without your cigarettes. But you don't have a meltdown like this. Never did I have a meltdown like that. You are performing for the camera. You should be ashamed of yourself for coming on TikTok and spreading out this negative energy in front of a bunch of strangers that owe you nothing. They owe you nothing. And you should not come on TikTok expecting them to give to you. For what reason do they have to give to you? Why should they give to you? You don't even give to yourself. You're not taking care of yourself. You're not trying. You just get on TikTok with your hand out and your mouth open. Meaning, a bunch of lies come out. No tears. Crystal Lean 30, that's the CA. I'm I trying to be calm, calm. You won't be a crackhead! You I'm trying to be a dollar. What is that? I don't even know what that was. I don't know if that was a voiceover. That was crazy. They're, 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 guys, guys, please. It's like, this is really important. Please, a cigarette help. No, I don't. No, it isn't. That's not it. You know, let's talk about the cigarette situation. Can we talk about it? Let's talk about it sensibly. If you have a habit, I'm not talking an illegal habit, mind you. Whatever habit you have, if you can't afford it, you don't need to do it. You don't have the money for it. You don't have the money for it. But if you want to do it, you better have your own money for it. It's nobody else's responsibility to support your habit. I mean, cigarettes or any other thing. Your life is your business. If you pick up certain habits, it's, it's for no one else to pay for it. If you find yourself in a financial bind, where, say, you started off smoking cigarettes or a vape or something like that, and then money gets tight, guess what? You cut that stuff out. That's not a necessity. You got to pay for food and bills and rent and all that stuff. You cut out that unnecessary stuff because, hey, cigarettes, vapes, things like that, they're not cheap. Anybody who smokes knows that. Like 10, 11, 12 dollars a pack, it ain't cheap. So if you're a smoker, and yeah, it may suck to go without your cigarettes, but it's what you gotta do. You just deal with it. Deal with it. You don't do this.
You don't come on crying and begging and going all the way off over a pack of cigarettes, girl. You're acting like the apocalypse is about to happen. <laughs> Ma'am, please help. I'm trying. No, you're not. Every time I get, think I got the money, it's it's them requesting. She's requesting again. Mods, please get Jolie Cook out of here. Please get her out of here. Please, please, please get her out. Please, please, please get her out. <laughs> please get her out. <laughs> <laughs> no send first and then yeah and there's a lot of people in the chat right now because i have it blown up full strength you guys can see that what the chat is saying i did that on purpose so you guys can see the chat but if you can't because i know the type is really small there's a lot of people saying cigarettes are like this person right here goody goody says cigarettes are not important no they're not She's not saying, hey, I'm in a house with absolutely no food and I'm starving. Food is a necessity. Not cigarettes, though. I'll mind you, I'm not playing that ga game. <laughs> I'm not playing that game because you guys lie, lie to me. Can anybody please help? It's Crystal Lean 30, please. I I don't have Venmo. Now look, everybody. Look, look. The, the information's right there. I'm making sure you know it, even though I've mentioned it like 10 times in the past five minutes, just in case you forgot five minutes ago. Don't forget about this. Don't forget about the Cash App. Don't forget about the Venmo and the PayPal. Like, look, look, did you see it? Did you see it there? Did you forget about it? Don't forget about it. It's really important. <sighs> Overkill. Overkill overkill and that's so much a signature for these tiktok beggars asking for the small amounts of money they all ask for 40 dollars. <laughs> they all ask for this 40 bucks y'all notice that with my reacts 40 dollars it's always 40 dollars for something and they overkill with pointing out the payment systems don't forget, it's down there. Just take a look. Send me some money now. Call now. Operators are standing by to take your call. <laughs> Quit this. Oh, no. I have the Crystal Lean 30. And I know I need somebody to help. No, you don't. Just go without your cigarettes. It ain't that big of a deal. And think about this, Lisa. You came on having a meltdown over cigarettes. What did that lead to? I hope you didn't get any freaking money. And that might teach you a lesson to get your own money for your own stuff. Nobody should be encouraging this behavior. Nobody. Absolutely no one. There's an old saying, if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man to fish, He'll eat for the rest of his life. Making somebody independent is better than teaching them to be codependent on you or somebody else. Making somebody strong is better than making them uh, be weak. Facilitating that weakness and keeping it going. Everybody's got to learn to grow up and be strong. Stand on their own two feet. Certainly that's true of Lisa. She's got too many people on TikTok that are supporting her being weak to the point where she's figured out if I'm really, really weak, if I come on acting like I'm crying and having a meltdown, I'll get some money out of people. There's going to be some suckers in the audience somewhere. I just have to seek them out. Well, $10 for a pack of smokes got you banned. Was it worth it? Was it worth it to have your account banned over a pack of cigarettes, girl? Uh, Brooke, can you can you send ten dollars for smokes to Cole Lisa X O um, Cole C O L E L I S A 
XO, please, please. Like, I need somebody to help me, and they're doing this, okay? You know what's please. really sad to me? I know that TikTok, it's, it's a big platform, and there's all kinds of people on TikTok doing all kinds of amazing, wonderful, creative things, artistic things. And all they want to do is get their art and their creativity and their funny out there. And it's such a shame that TikTok doesn't shut people like her down, shut down the begging. You know, like this kind of nonsense is just, it's polluted TikTok. To where those who, they just want to get on and, and show their funny or show their artistic and their creative and their wonderful, like they're getting buried by people like this. This has no business on TikTok. I wish TikTok would put their foot down on this crap and say enough is enough. Stop using our platform to beg. That's not allowed here. Just shut down all the begging. Get rid of the pollution and the scamming and the lies and preying upon people who are generous and good and they just want to help and they don't realize they got sucked into a black hole of somebody's begging. Come on, TikTok, do better. Do much better. Brooke, please. Brooke, Brooke, please. It's in my bio. Cole, Lisa. <laughs> Oh. oh, yes. Oh, please. She's over there like, I'm freaking out and I'm sweating and I have to keep fanning myself with my shirt. Come on, girl. You're not even crying. Where are the tears? You're a really, really bad actress. Really bad. Yes, please. Please. And this is the CA right here. Crystal. Lee. And listen. Let's apply a little logic. Anybody out there, you've had a really bad moment in your life. Really, really bad. You're having a full on meltdown. Like you're just breaking all the way down. In the middle of a meltdown, are you going to stop and point out a cash app? Like, cause you're all in your feelings. You're all in, in your feelings and in the moment, are you going to stop and pause and like have your train of thought to point out a cash app? No, absolutely not. You are not. You're my, you're going to be all in your feelings. Your mind is going to be scattered. You can't even keep a thought in your head. 30, please. <laughs> yes, just because I am trying to get enough to walk. walk down. That's it. That's it. And I'm being accused. Yeah. You know what? Like I said earlier, and I'm sorry to keep going over the same points. So asking for $10, hoping to get a hundred or 200. That's, that's the hope here. By asking for a small amount, casting a wide net, hoping to catch many fish and not just one. If one person sends $10, yeah, she might get a pack of smokes, but the hope is to get more than one fish. A much bigger payday. Of all this stuff that ain't happening, and no, just no. <laughs> I don't care. You guys are calling me all that stuff. I all I want is to go get smokes with my daughter. <laughs> You're horrible. You know that, Lisa. You are horrible. You have a daughter. And if you're a parent, your priority should be to take care of yourself and take care of your child. And if you're constantly running out of money, the priority is yourself and your daughter. That $10 that you get for the smokes, you should put that back in your pocket in case your daughter needs something. 
got to have money on hand to take care of your kids. And if that means cutting out bad habits and the cost of those bad habits, so be it. And I really think it's disgusting. It's so disgusting. The amount of manipulation going on here. I just did a react to another person who tried to use their own pet as a way to pull on people's heartstrings. But you're over here even mentioning your daughter. Acting like, oh, it's, it's for me and my daughter. No, it's for you. The cigarettes are for you. You're going to be the one smoking them. But if you're a mother and you have a child, if somebody gives you $10, in my opinion, you should take that $10, say, screw the smoking and keep that on hand in case your daughter needs something. Take care of the daughter first. You know, be a good mom. Cut out the bad habits. Put the priorities in order. Cigarettes are at the bottom of the list. Daughter is at the top. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. See, Crystal Lean 30. Please. It, it, I can get smoked or, um, uh, chime. C O L E L I S A X O. Please, I need smoke. Yeah, you know and what? I if somebody sends her $10 for smokes, here's the problem. She's going to smoke that whole pack tonight if she gets the $10, and tomorrow will be the same story. I need another pack of smokes. I'm out. Somebody said in the comments she got smokes three days ago. She went through that pack in less than three days. That's insane. You get 20 something cigarettes in a pack. <laughs> What are you doing? If you're running out of money that quickly, maybe don't smoke as much. That way a pack will last you at least four or five days, maybe a week. Smoke one or two a day versus like five or six. Dang, woman. They're laughing at me and treating me like this. Chime is C O L E. L I S A X O. That's what chime is. Cole Lisa X O. It's in my bio. It's in my bio. All of this is in my bio. You and other people in the comments, I just saw one scroll by saying she's been doing this for years. So you've been on TikTok for years begging. This is why people cannot. There's so many people in this world that are kind hearted and good they just want to help there's nothing wrong with being a good person and being generous and wanting to help somebody in need but this is why i'm doing these types of videos it's not just to find a new locale it's because there are people on the internet taking advantage of other people's generosity and the fact that you as a generous kind human stranger you see somebody in distress it's natural to be a human and see another human and you see them in distress and you want to offer up your hand and say i want to help you but the problem is these people that are asking for help a lot of them are not being honest you know it, it's so sad that we live in a world where you just can't trust a person's word for what it is but that's the world we live in. Can you, as a generous person, trust who you're looking at if you have no real personal contact with them and there's so much you don't know? People like Lisa Richards on the internet begging for years. And the situation obviously has never changed. It's gotten worse to the point where she knows that putting on a performance means more money. She got banned for this. Thank you, TikTok, if you permanently banned her. This needs to stop. She needs to get it through her head. She can't just come on and beg for money and get a whole bunch of money. But the problem is there's more like her on TikTok. She's not the only one.
So those of you that are on my channel, like if, if you see someone online that's supposedly in need, proceed with caution. Ask yourself, is this person really being honest or not? There's a chance they may not be. And just looking for someone in the audience with a good heart that wants to help. But you can help that person and the next day they'll ask for more help and more help and more help and more help. And the problem with enabling a negative person like this is they never get better. You're not just helping them out of a one bad situation. There's going to be a whole series of them. Alleged series of events. Oh. And telling people not to get me smoked and all kind of stuff. No, they don't owe me. But you guys are telling people lies about me. And that's not true. No, they're not lying. So for the people that are in the comments right now, they're scrolling by. The ones that are saying, don't give her money. She's lying. Da, da, da. They're not lying. I know this for fact. Because I have seen so I'm telling you, researching the TikTok scammer beggar cows, her name is number one. She is the most notorious. There are lots of others like out there, but her name is the most frequent. She's got the most videos done of her on many different channels just because she begs so much and she lies so much and she scams so much. You're number one, Lisa. You got the crown in a really bad way. Stop that. Like, stop that. <laughs> yeah, stop that. Because you guys are telling other people not to send me money. And I want them to send me money. You're stopping the suckers from getting sucked into my scam. She's not upset about her situation. She's upset about the people that are people in her audience that know what's going on. They're telling others, hey, don't get suckered. She's upset because she can't sucker people and get away with it. Please. I, I don't have any. I don't have any. Oh, shut up. <sighs> oh, she's trying so hard to cry. Girl, you're five minutes too late. <laughs> No, you're waiting five minutes in to try to start those tears. I don't see nothing. Oh, God. You know what? If people in the audience want to help Lisa, best thing you can do is don't send her money. Don't enable her. Teach her to be strong and independent. She should be anyway if she's a mother. She should be strong to take care of herself and her child. Because let's think about the potential here. If she is a mother coming on TikTok begging for money, what is she teaching her daughter? What could she be potentially passing on to her daughter? Like, is it this is the way you behave? This is what you do to make money? That's a really bad lesson. I hope that whoever her daughter is never learns that lesson, never takes that as something to do. I hope that whoever her daughter is, is happy and healthy and, and grows up to be a productive member of society. But like she's setting a bad example for her daughter by doing this. It's not true either, just not true. Not true, not true, not true, not true. Somebody with a good heart, please. Crystal? Well, because obviously you don't have a good heart if you've been begging for years. If you had a good heart, you would have a sense of uh, accountability. And you would say, it's not right for me to do this over and over and over again. I need to do for myself and stop going to people like an entitled brat and asking for their money. I need to go out and make my own money for myself and for my daughter. That's what you should do. That's what a good person would do. They would explore every avenue, every street, every highway of goodness and go there before they do this.
clean 30 or Cole Lisa X O. Oh, it's in my bio. I will I will show you whoever sends it proof that I went to the store and got smoke. I will show you proof. You you know what I don't hear from some of these TikTok cows? Like in this instance right now. Lisa is saying, I need $10. But many of these TikTok cows, these beggar cows, beg talk, if they get extra money, they don't say so. They never come online and said, I asked for $10 and I got, say, $40, $50, dollars So I used the money on the thing I said I was going to, I needed it for, but I got extra. That's what I did with this extra. Here are the receipts. Full transparency. You guys helped me out a little bit extra. So I did this smart thing with the extra money. Never hear that. So yeah, she might show a receipt for $10 for a pack of cigarettes. But if you get 40 extra dollars or 50 extra dollars or 100, are you going to be accountable for that? Are you going to show receipts for that? Doubt it. Doubt it. No, it isn't. I'm telling them that I will show them proof. It's nothing to do with anything. And that's fine, ma'am. That's fine. I understand that. I do. I understand. I'm just trying to get some help and get on my feet. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to stop you right there. You're not coming on here and asking for help to get on your feet. You're coming on and asking for money for a pack of cigarettes. That has nothing to do with getting back on your feet, girl. Quit it. Stop it. Stop it. You're not in dire straits. I'm looking behind you right now. You seem to be in a nice apartment or at least a house. I haven't seen the rest of the house, but you're in a house. You are safe. You are warm. You're comfortable. You're not in dire straits. You're not on a street. Quit it. Uh, that would work. It doesn't have to be 10. Four would work. It doesn't have to be 10. If you send five, six, it, it adds up to 10. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, it adds up. Don't think, to, oh, I got $4. You know, I won't send no. And here's somebody saying, Chris says you have cigarettes. I bet she does. I bet she does have cigarettes because somebody in the comments said she got cigarettes the other day. So what do you need more cigarettes for? Please do. And it will add up. It will. I promise. It will. It will. I can't use a Chili's gift card. What do you mean? You can't buy smokes with that. Stop saying I'm in I'm in withdrawal. I'm gonna start coming after you people. I go to the clinic every day. I'm not in with that comment. Like I I don't know what's going on with Lisa, like if she's got any other issues, but if it's true that she's got issues, she's saying I go to the clinic every day. I don't think you go every day. Withdrawal. I just need some smoke. Like stop saying that. Like, damn, I'm hot. I'm having like a panic attack. Like, stop. No, saying no, 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 ma'am. No. I no. <laughs> if you're having a panic attacks are a real thing. People a lot of people deal with panic attacks. But when you're in the midst of a panic attack, you cannot calm down. Yet several times during this live, like she was having a meltdown and she stopped, paused, pointed out the cash app, go off again, stop, pause, point out the cash app. You can't do that during a panic attack, not a real one. In that garbage. Oh my God. Yeah, we all from smoke, cigarettes. You guys don't understand. Uh, girl.
I'm a smoker. I have never acted like this ever. This is this is so BS over the top. Smokers do not do this. Even heavy smokers do not do this. We get a little bit cranky. But we don't act like this. Oh my God. I need to go after these people that are doing this because this isn't fair. Yeah, it hey, life isn't fair. Who said life was fair? Life is not fair. Life is what you make it. Life is not supposed to be fair. It's not supposed to give everybody what they want when they want it. That's where working your butt off to get what you want and go places plays into it. You want a pack of smokes? You don't want to rely on people at TikTok to get them? Work. Make some money some other way besides the internet. Simple. This is fair. I don't have PayPal. I just have CA, which is Crystal Lean 30, please. Can I say something about that, please? About her not having PayPal? She could have PayPal. But here's the thing with PayPal. Something you guys should know about the PayPal thing. See, something like Cash App, if you send somebody money on Cash App, it's really, really hard to get a refund versus something like PayPal where somebody can request a refund. So something to note, a pay service like Cash App, it's, it's really difficult to get the money back versus PayPal that they'll get your money back for you. Especially if you've been scammed, they don't put up with that. K R Y S T A L L E A N 30 with the dollar sign. And then um, Chime. C O L E C O. So you've got Cash App, Chime, but not PayPal. Could it be because Cash App and Chime doesn't offer refunds, but PayPal does? I think so. L E L I S A X O, Chime. Please, nobody has sent anything. They're requesting. They're laughing at me. They're, 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 they're just. It's it's a mess for a cheap carton. It's like seventy dollars. And if you would do that, ma'am, I'd. And can I just say this on top of uh, what she's saying? I don't know what area she lives in. Like the, the cost of a pack of cigarettes varies from state to state. I don't know where she is, but $10 does not really cover a pack of cigarettes. You got to add tax on top of that. So how are you going to pay the tax with just $10? Love you for, forever and ever and ever. So I don't have to get on, on every day. And do this. It's so, so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Nobody even understands. There's a lot more going on than just no cigs, okay? A well, that it, it, but it's no, it's no one to take care of all your problems, Lisa. Yet you bring all your problems to TikTok. If you didn't bring your problems and your money issues to TikTok, nobody would have anything to say. A lot more going Not on. our issue, not our problem. A lot more. <laughs> Stop calling. Stop calling. Stop calling. Wait. I don't have any cigarettes. Why are you calling? As a cigarette smoker, I am so embarrassed for her right now. This is so overblown. Why are you calling? <laughs> oh my God. Like what exactly is she hoping for? That there are smokers in her audience that they sympathize and, oh man, I know what it is to go without cigarettes too. Here's $10. I know how awful it is. Again, if you got a habit you can't afford, you shouldn't have the habit to begin with. I can't block her number. I can't do it. They're, they call Friday. 
Bye, private. I can't. There they go again. <laughs> oh. This is, I don't know what phone she's got, but even that's a lie. Even that is a lie. Because of, I don't know what phone she's got. If it's an iPhone or whatever, but I know have my I have my phone set to where I only get calls from people that are on my list, and anything else gets silenced. She could easily do that. She get there's a setting on your phone. I'm crying because I need help. It all you don't need help. You're you're just whatever. For Like, look at this. <laughs> they don't say anything. I've answered it. <laughs> so can anybody please help me? Okay. Look, I'm having a meltdown. I'm having a panic attack, a panic attack. And yet I'm going to stop in the middle of my panic attack to point out my pay, to pay out, point out my cash app. You lying beach. Nobody does that during a panic attack. Quit it. You're mocking people who have panic attacks for real, over real things. Quit claiming things that are not true. I S T A L L E A N 30. Please, please. Like I need help. I want to go down before it gets dark. It's it's always the same BS story with these scammers. Are y'all picking up on that with my my bigger TikTok videos? It's it's always the same elements, isn't it? They always need like a supposedly small amount of money. Um, when they come on to beg, it's an it's a extreme situation that has to be handled immediately. They always come on on like the 12th hour to ask for money like, oh, I'm going to be evicted tomorrow or my lights are going to get shut off. Or in Lisa's case today, I, I want to walk to the store and get cigarettes before it gets dark. It's always an extreme situation at the last minute. And there's no room for negotiation. There's no space of time to get something fixed. Like, do all of you scammers on TikTok get together in a big room and you decided on a formula for scamming people on TikTok? Because you all follow it almost to the letter. It's like a recipe for scamming on TikTok. Here are the different elements. Include different elements. You'll be a success. Y'all all do the same things. The same things. Just please. I, I can't help myself. I don't have the money. You can help yourself. You just don't want to help yourself. You want other people to help you. You want to help yourself to other people's money. I don't have the money. Or. Too bad. Too bad. Or. Chime. Is. C Cole Lisa XO. C-O-L-E-L-I-S-A-X. Okay, so this person, XX, says per her family, her own family, they have asked for people not to send money. For proof, go to total mess Jess page. So even her own family is saying don't send her money. X-O, Cole Lisa X-O. Okay, please, somebody, anybody, anybody. I've asked families, I don't have it. I've asked everybody. I'm so glad you got banned for this. Is this getting on TikTok and acting this way? It's too much. It's, it's much too much. It's bad enough that you're begging, but bringing all of this stress and negativity to strangers way too much, way over the, way too much over the top, ma'am. That's not true. My parents never said that. They would be thankful if somebody helped me. 
Yeah, about that. So somebody in the comments just said her family said not to send her money. She's all got she's got family. It's not like she's all alone in the world. If she needs ten dollars, why not go to the family? Hey mom, hey dad, can I borrow ten dollars? Problem solved. No, she's coming to complete strangers. If you did, thank you so much. But people just lie to me on here all the time. All the time. Well, you come on TikTok lying all the time, Lisa. So you could come on TikTok and lie to people, but they can't lie to you. Are you serious right now? They lie, they lie. Boom. And she got banned. And she got banned. Good on you, TikTok. You need to shut all these beggars down. It, it's from what I've seen, it's out of control. It's really unnecessary and out of control. But I, I guess there are just some extremes that even TikTok won't put up with. Good on you, TikTok. Put her in the corner. Put her in timeout. She needs to learn her lesson. So that's it for the react to Miss Lisa Richards. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the react. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'm going to be looking around for more TikTok beggar cows and other things to do. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.